Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the um, auxiliary air valve in a Mercedes or Bosch Cajetronic fuel injection system. Um, very common in the late 70s, early 80s. Essentially what it does is it controls the uh, amount of air that bypasses the throttle body um, using a coolant sensor like a thermostat up in the bottom of the sensor right there. These things over time will gum up, uh, get full of crap, and pretty much stop working. And from what I understand, they're pretty expensive. So I decided what better way to uh, get a working knowledge of it than disassemble it, see if I can put it back together and get it back in service. First thing I did was I drilled a hole right here with a quarter inch metal cutting drill. Next step, take a quarter inch 20 thread per inch nut that I just dropped, put it here inside the tube. Um, you're going to have to spread open the spring that's up inside there, but um, basically you want to get the nut inside the spring um, so that it can rattle around in there. Then what you do is uh, take the, it's already disassembled, but you'll get it in there, get it upside down. Next step is to, uh, I use a screwdriver and put it in the, uh, actually on this side, where the big hole is, put a screwdriver in there and pin down the nut, which you'll be able to see in this hole right here. Um, took a flat blade screwdriver and pin the nut in right there. Used a little dental pick to move the, uh, the nut around in there so that I could get the threads to line up with this bolt and then threaded the bolt up in there. Um, after that, hung it upside down in my vise right here. And, uh, I'm going to put it upside down on my vise, and then I put a, uh, you can either use two hammers, or what I did was I used a crowbar, and use the uh, crow's foot of the crowbar right here to hold the uh, bolt in place, and then I struck it with a hammer until the press fit broke, and it came apart. Now, when you have it all apart, it basically just breaks down into these four components right here. <coughs> You're going to have this spring, which will um, reset it, reset the, the switch once uh, the motor is cold again. And then right here is the plunger, which is actuated by the uh, little, little device right there, kind of like a thermostat uses. Um, basically what happens, this has already been cleaned. It fills up with all kinds of crud and grime. Um, you may get debris in there that'll that'll uh, make the edges rough or whatever and make them stick so it doesn't function properly. <clears throat> so basically just disassembled the whole thing, um, clean it all off with uh, brake cleaner, and then I'm going to uh, lube it up with some WD-40 and stick it all back together. After you're done, simply uh, get a nut, put the nut in there, a shorter one of these bolts, put it on top, thread it, seal it with some RTV, so nothing will be in the way, nothing will interfere, and then um, press fit back together over in the vise, just like so. Um, just make sure that the, the holes are lined up properly. Not that difficult to do because the big hole is um, higher than the slit. So you just want to make sure that the higher tube gets the hole, the lower tube gets the slit. Put it all back together and then um, adjust it to to tune properly so that at um, I think it's 170 degrees the valve should be completely closed. There you go.